So maybe you downloaded some online training, maybe you have a colleague that works in Resolve, and for some reason you have a .dra file. What the heck do we do with that? First of all, what is a DRA file? A DRA file is a DaVinci Resolve archive. And what it is, is it's a project file combined with media files. So anything that was inside of the project is all kind of wrapped up in a nice little package. And it has both the project file as well as the media files that the project file needs. So a DRA sometimes is quite big, but it should have everything that you need all in one package. And it's basically just a renamed folder with the extension .dra. You can double click on this in the finder or the explorer and open it up and navigate the files, but it's really meant to import into Resolve. When you open up Resolve, you'll have this window, which is our project manager window. And what we need to do is right click anywhere in the empty space and select restore project archive. From there, you need to navigate to the DRA file. Make sure to unzip it if it came in a zip file and just select that folder that says .dra and hit open. What that should do is load a project. This is the project from our intro to Resolve course. And then you can double click on the project and it'll open up in Resolve. And you should have all of the bins and timelines and everything that you need to get started on your project. Now, something to mention, if you open up a DRA just in your Finder or your Explorer window, you double click on that, it's not going to open in Resolve. It'll open up a folder that has project.drp and then there's media file. Now, it might be tempting to go into the media files and look through all of these, but odds are they're probably not going to make a lot of sense. It's going to be kind of hard to find stuff. That's because when somebody makes a DRA, it keeps all of the original file structure and everything from their system which may or may not actually make a ton of sense to you. So unless you're getting into the individual files for a specific reason, like there's a problem or you just need one file or something like that, you're gonna want to just not open this in your Finder or Explore window, just leave it alone. Click on the little house to open your project manager in Resolve, right click in the empty space and say, restore project archive and find that .dra. That's the way to open that. One thing that sometimes happens, is you'll go to open this and it won't open or it will say that the archive is damaged or something like that. That happens when you select a folder that has a DRA in it like this, and I hit open like this. It'll say selected path doesn't seem to be a project archive. That's because we actually need to select not just the folder, but the folder that ends in .dra. So if that's still not working, you can double click on this and make sure there's not a DRA inside of that. Sometimes it kind of gets double archived, but whatever DRA you're trying to open, that should just have a DRA, and when you double click on it, it should have media files in there. Just go up one, select that DRA, and hit open, and everything should turn out just fine. So there you go, there's our DRA open and reconnected to all of our files. None of them are disconnected or anything like that. It's beautiful. So I hope that helps anybody trying to open up a DRA file. Quick little video to help you out with that. Hey, if you wanna learn more about Resolve, we have whoosh, a course which includes a .dra file that you can open up and uh, edit along with us. And it teaches you all the basics of Resolve, including editing, cut page, fusion page, color page, Fairlight, and deliver. It's kind of everything that you need to know about Resolve to actually start making videos. So check that out right there. And uh, yeah, hope you have a really good day. Hope it's even better than my day. And I'll tell you, I've had a pretty good day.